Andy was relentless. I think that when Andy put his mind to something, there wasn't absolutely anything in the world that could stop him. Even though everything he did put him at the top of the diving industry, the top of his game, never really you know, stopped trying to be better. I think for Andy, it was a lot of it was about adventure and exploration. He loved his technical diving, his rebreather diving, and he was always looking for that next challenge to push himself a little bit further. And I think through that, he inspired a lot of other people to do the same thing. Diving was everything. I mean, he was uh, an incredibly passionate diver. He was always curious about what more he could learn about diving and then pass that on to others. I think that was his real gift. He touched so many people in terms of wanting them to be better at diving, to be instructors, and to share the underwater world with others. So he was truly a, a mentor to just literally thousands of people. Andy was so special to a lot of us because he really cared about all of us on a day-to-day -day basis. He was enthusiastic in not only being our boss, but being our friend and our mentor. And Andy was just a really special guy when it came to making you feel important and making you feel like he always had time for you. Yeah. CC. Yeah. Rory. Yeah. Ali. Yeah. Manny. Yep. All right. We're over here. Yeah. And... <laughs> you know, one of the things I think made Andy so special is that he was truly a bridge builder. He never saw competition as a distractive force. He always saw it as something that just could potentially lift everybody up if you work together. Andy was a trainer, obviously, so it was his job, it was his profession, but it was also his passion. Through diving, Andy made his family, his friends. So beyond what it meant for him as a job, it was a way for him to connect to people.